I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I need a bit of a walk myself. Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation, so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty, either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. friend, the creepy little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the Shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna! Stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before, anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. <sighs> All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved, in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. doing oh this that's incredible how'd you Ooh, do that rain. making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me i forget about all my cares and it's like i just enter my own little world 
I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Now, Saray, let's send it off. God. I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. All right then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I too have a ways to go. Probably and Zavid. I have no idea where he is. Right, let's take a rest to kind of really digest what just happened that night. Morning, Saray. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Zavid. Yo, Saray. Oh, Zavid. You're still here. Ouch. Lila, is he always this cold? Well, it looks like everyone's here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. <laughs> My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's Journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right, one of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either, at first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that is to approach him directly. Maybe, but we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain, or we're sunk. We already have the power. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world! Keep moping and crying! And I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe! That's what he said. Oh, 
and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. And then I... I told him I do my best out there. And so that's why... That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there. <laughs> Why? Why am I crying like this? Rose. He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I... I didn't even notice. But in the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. <laughs> Oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on, huh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you? I guess everyone's okay. All right. Let's go. Hold your horses. Don't I get a pack thingy? No. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I wonder what his real name is gonna be. Lukam Yerlin. Alrighty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go. Alright, this is V. He's level 60. Dog. <laughs> Damn, dude. Alright, uh, he has point of he has wind stepping is maxed out though. I think it's the same. He has the same uh, thing as a uh, as a Dazzle. That's what I can assume. Can you actually pass on point of interest um, detection? Alright, let me check his equipment real quick though. Oh, you. Oh, damn. Alright, um. I might want. Um. Chain Magus. I actually just noticed that. Maybe we need some attack on this boy. Hmm. I guess plus six defense is good, I guess. Alright, let's, let's wear it. Alright, Zavid's pretty overpowered though, so uh, I don't think we have to do anything with him yet. Wait. Is his art are his arts also the same as um Dazzle? I th actually think so, yeah. For a snipe. Alright, I guess now let's go to uh Glavent. Oh man, I just have to digest all the things that have happened. No, uh. Alright. Held off, we're coming for you! But anyways, pretty sure it's power of the wind. You said you'd fill in for Dazzle, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. But can you really do it? Oh ho ho! You doubt me, huh? Come on, you've seen what I can do. Yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. I said I was sorry. Jeez. We get how strong you are? But what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his being. 
so there's nothing to worry about. Especially not with an able and handsome wind seraph like me. All right, then. I won't let you down. I'll see to it you don't. I'm a little surprised. You're quite knowledgeable about spiritual powers and shepherds. <laughs> well, I am a well-experienced, grown-ass man, after all. You know you can always count on me. Somehow I'm not so sure that I can. <laughs> I also, um... Yeah. Here we go, um... Actually, a lot of stuff. I, uh... I want to do this. A hat inherited from Dezel. Zweet looks after it in his own way. <laughs> Shirts are for weenies. <laughs> Alright, um, here, um... I get this. This. Hmm, we have so much skid. Actually, let's... Let's use this to... Uh, First of all, I think we should uh, watch a few sk extra skits, why not, you know? And also, um... What's something I wanted to do, I think? Um, equipment... Oh, no, no, fashion, fashion. Oh my god. <laughs> that doesn't fit whatsoever, dude. Hell yeah, look at that. Look at that. Anyways, um... We probably... Yeah, go with this for a while. Alright. If he just wants to fit in. I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Tell me your weaknesses. Why would we tell you something like that? <laughs> what? Hey now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. Yeah, because you don't wear any clothes. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that, thanks. You guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against earth, but weak against fire. We knew that. <laughs> That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, from the waist yes. up, Lila yes. is... This isn't even about weaknesses <laughs> anymore. Looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. What about Lila, though? What about Lila, though? <laughs> Hey, Zavid, I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. And that something is? I told him, please, let me marry your little sister, and he punched me. Don't lie. Oh, come on, he'd totally do something like that. Fine. Don't tell me then. <laughs> no wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Does it have something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. Hmm. Sentimental sister. Man, the skits are just... Popping in right now, yo. <laughs> Alright, watched over by the Seraphim. Oh. Are you a drooling little bit, Sorry. It all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah. And I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. There was a time when you were a baby? That's rude. Well... My bad, my bad. 
I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? So many skits. Anyways, Callus Crash Course. You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? I guess I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using Seraphic Arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper, and Dezel's Pendulum has been using earthen minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. Is what I'd like to say, but I'll hold back. But you did just say it! Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, then you're just going to have to do things the hard way, if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. <sighs> Alright, the skits are finally over. Not, because... Look at this, look at these skits, boy. So anyways, um, the ladies try on school uniforms and chat about cute ways to wear them. Who will be the cutest one of them all? Yeah, uh, yep. Score! These school uniforms look so cute! I can't wait to try them on, I've always wanted to wear one! Now you, Alicia, you're clearly on the honor roll. Really? It looks normal enough to me. Let's watch but like five more skits, and then we'll go to Glevain. Even if the skirts look awfully short. <laughs> if you're all students, I think mine makes me the health and physical education teacher, who's actually secretly the school headmistress in disguise. That makes negative sense, minus sense. Also, given that outfit, one wonders how physical the education gets. Ooh. Your dress certainly looks unique, Edna. I'm not sure it counts strictly as a uniform, but the Norman adds a cute and stylish touch to the ensemble. I do things the way I like, at all times. It's true that uniforms are all about how stylish you can make them without breaking the rules. Speaking of which, straight A Alicia, you ever wear a scrunchie before? <laughs> scrunchie? It almost sounds like a helmet. <laughs> Is it some kind of fashion Our food. accessory? Bingo! You use it to bunch your hair up, or you can just stick it on your wrist. Instant style. Why don't you try one on? My goodness, it sounds both useful and fashionable at the same time. Such versatility. I wonder, would a scrunchie be enough to make my uniform look cute like a proper girl? And then, let's see. I'll borrow those glasses of yours. And then my Norman backpack can go right here atop your head. <laughs> oh, it's not your head. Oh, th thank you very much. Um, is... Is that the way normal girls dress to look cute? I don't think so. Fear not. It'll be just as I imagined it. <sighs> girls, girls! School is a place of learning. Kindly wear your uniforms properly. But whatever you do, I'm sure you will look splendid. It's so nice to wear something different once in a while. I have to check out Lila's um, school uniform. For reasons, of course. Um, here. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's quite good. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do one more skit. Um. Um, the masculine dream. It looks like the guys are looking at this swimsuit catalog. What on earth could they be plotting? 
Oh my god. So I'm guessing the pink one's for Alicia and the flowy one's for Lila. Yeah, I can see that. Which would mean... What are you guys doing? Oh, hey there, boys. Good timing. Take a look here. What are these? Swimsuits? Why swimsuits? <laughs> There's even girl suits. Of course. If only the guys wear them, what'd be the point? Make Leo, it's all right. Take yourselves a good long look. Just imagine. Can you start to see the ladies wearing these in your mind? Oh, I have no interest in such things. I've never worn a swimsuit before. Let me see. Saray? That's the spirit, Saray. What do you think? Yep, I think these will look great on everybody. Really comfortable. Oh, man. Though, come to think of it, all the girls have real nice skin. A fine, smooth texture, don't you think? Uh, oh, you've been watching them more than I thought. Not really. You just see glimpses now and then. I don't know, it was just an observation. And I was just like, if you're gonna wear something new, a swimsuit would be awfully refreshing, you know? Refreshing? Uh, 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 well, in a sense, sure. But wouldn't it be embarrassing? I wouldn't even know where to rest my oh, eyes. Oh, you know where. <laughs> Still just boys, the both of you. Well, I, for one, am fine with whatever anyone wants to wear. Or not wear. I, I'm not strictly opposed to it. It's just... And there we have it! At the fervent request of Miklio and Dezel, the entire team will henceforth <laughs> implement the swimsuit protocol. What? Keep your voice down! Neither of us requested a darn thing! Hey! You said you were just gonna casually suggest swimsuits to the girls, and now you throw me to the wolves! You traitor! <laughs> Get back here, Zavid! I'm not through with you! Huh? Where'd everybody go? Hey! <laughs> How did that conversation even happen? Consider what happened with Dazzle and Zavid in the party? I don't know. How'd how that even happen? <laughs> Anyways, next 